welcome to this vlog, everybody. Surprise, I'm on the Cape again, doing something exciting. This was so last minute, you guys. I can't even tell you. You can probably tell by the title of the video. I can't believe it that we're about to look at more homes on the Cape. You guys saw my video before. Basically, I learned a lot and I was quite discouraged and nothing felt perfectly right. And I've been getting so stressed, I've been a little stressful because I thought it would be so simple and quick and easy to just like find the perfect little home on Cape Cod for the summer, move on in, have it this summer, easy peasy. No. It's been so challenging. And I've got my heart broken a couple times. The house will pop up. I'm like, it's perfect. I can't wait to see it. Gone the next day. Too late. I'm like, okay, that's how it is. And I saw it. I was gonna say I saw them alone. I didn't. I saw them with my twin sister Lucy, but it's gonna be Max and I living there. So it's so nice that Max is actually here to look with me this time. It just like feels better this way. It feels right that we're looking together. I'm hopefully hoping that's a good omen. We're actually seeing five or six homes today, which is gonna be crazy. I need to prepare myself here because last time I saw five and I was exhausted. But at least I know what I'm getting into getting myself into this time. I'm like, I'm hungry, I'm tired, I'm mentally drained. Like it's just like a lot. It's a lot, you know? But I know what I'm getting myself into and it's so nice that I have Max. Basically, this is a dream that I had. You know the TikToks on this is a dream I had since new. No, I've been looking at homes for a while, but I had this crazy idea uh, four days ago. <laughs> I was like, you know what? Max is one day off a week. This might be crazy. It's a six hour drive from where we live in Pennsylvania. I think we should just do it so that we have a day to look at homes. And like I said, it's been kind of more challenging than I thought. So I'm like, this way, I'll feel like we really did our due diligence. We really tried. We look on Zillow every single day for like hours, talked to a realtor a ton, looked at a bunch of homes for, looking at a bunch of homes today. And if it works out and it's meant to be, it'll be. And if not, I'll know that I really tried and keep searching. We'll have to like find a place to rent for the summer. So that's that. And basically I have this crazy idea. Max was like, okay, like let's do it. Like obviously I wanna look at homes I felt like left out before. We couldn't go because of hockey. So like if our realtor's free, we'll know that it's meant to be. And I was like, hey, this is so last minute, but if you have availability to like show us some listings on one day, you let us know and she's available. So we were like this is meant to be. And I feel like out of the, I'm saying like five or six because one of them is like, I don't even know if we'll be able to get into it, like just popped up and it's like all of them are, actually no, well just whatever, it's a weird situation, but so maybe six, five, maybe six. But out of the six, I feel like two of them, I could really see myself liking. And the other ones like, eh, you never know as you get in there, but I'm feeling like, Nah, for a number of reasons, but two of them I'm feeling hopeful and I've been pretty hopeless. So that's exciting. Keep you guys updated. Bring you along for the ride. Max is about to come out, join me, grab a coffee and go. I learned from last time that it's like, go, go, go. We had no time for like food to pee, eat, anything. I'm like, I gotta pee, I gotta find a place to pee. I'm like, can I pee in this like listing home? I don't know, what is like the deal? <laughs> you know what I mean? So I just like hold it all day. <laughs> you know, like, does anyone care? But I wanted to say, if you didn't see my last vlog, if you're like, what is going on? I missed a chapter, what's happening? Long story short, my boyfriend Max plays hockey and every year during the hockey season, we don't know where he's gonna be. It's gonna be not right here though. So what we're looking for would be primarily just a summer home. Since during the hockey season, which is like September through May, we will be living wherever Max is playing hockey, just renting probably, but it's like, really nice to be able to have a home base somewhere that you could go to for the summer. And we could rent it out during the season. We may, we may not. I just gotta like think about that more. Obviously it makes a lot of sense to do that when you're only gonna be in this home like three months of the year. So yeah, that is that situation. My boyfriend Max is from Cape Cod. So people keep asking me like, what town are you looking in? Literally all the towns. I'm like, I'm open to it all. And obviously I don't know it as well since I'm not from here. Like we're literally looking everywhere. That's why it's a full day that is planned. <laughs> like lots of driving. Max is like, I think you think the cave is bigger than it, it really is. I'm like, no, it really is big. Like from one end to the other, all the way up. Like it's like a lot of driving, seeing all these different homes. But anyway, before we go, I wanted to shout out the sponsor of this video. Thank you so much, Case Vibe, for working with me on this video. You guys know my favorite phone cases ever. This actually may be my favorite phone case of all time. One of my, actually, no. You know, no, it's one of my favorite, like top three of my favorite Case Vibe phone cases. But obviously, my favorites are the ones you can customize with like pictures of Brody, me and Max. Yeah, it's gotta be like the Brody one. But like, I love this print. There's so many prints 
and designs to choose from it's so slim while being so protective and i know my link for them has stayed the same you guys so if you're ever wondering what my case by code is it's just a link if you go to casebycom slash scratching you'll get 15 percent off your order and i know they actually just came out with watch bands like i got bands from an apple watch i think they're literally getting delivered today back in my apartment in pennsylvania and i want you guys to see them so i will insert that footage right here so you can see their new watch bands here are the apple watch sports bands i was telling you guys about how cute are these designs? I believe they're for Earth Day, which makes sense. This one especially looks so naturey. I know these are also made of partially recycled phone cases. And I'm gonna throw probably this one, my Apple Watch right now, so we can see what it looks like. This is so fun because I've only ever had the strap that like came with my Apple Watch. I'm gonna be nice and creative here. So this is what I was talking about cool you guys look how cute she is i'm obsessed as you can tell by my outfit about to do a workout which is perfect since this band is actually water resistant so it's good for a nice sweaty workout and as always just like their phone cases there are so many different prints to choose from and again you guys can go to casefy.com slash gretchen for 15 percent of your order again casefy's light sports bands are now available which is so exciting and now you're gonna head out max is gonna join me we're gonna head out on our day i gotta like take some deep breaths i gotta like prepare myself this time now that i know how much of your like mental physical emotional financial energy goes into this process here we go Whoa. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys. I really, really like this one. Like, okay, I gotta get, there's a lot of people in here that listen to me. Dude. We gotta see this kitchen. Uh, yeah. You know, it's funny. Hockey players want me to see the half back of the laundry room. Like, Wait, look what at you this do? place. It comes, it comes with one quiet place. Oh, wow. yeah. Cute. Option two. Closet, bathroom, look at this living room with the windows, my little office would go right here, <laughs> like all these windows you guys, I'm loving, I love this bathroom, look at her. I'm a sucker for all the like gold finishes. Just looks so nice. Like how fun is a shower? I'm like, hang on, there's one, two, three, four shower heads. Do we need that? <laughs> like Brody gets one, I get one. <laughs> oh my goodness, but like so pretty, right? Little porch out front, toilet. I don't really know. This must be a closet that's just like empty that you'd have to like build out but yes backyard i don't know what's happening there but like fenced in kind of like a busy road but really nice these are fun cute yeah like what yeah yeah okay we're upstairs Cute little bathroom. This is almost like too much space. <laughs> like there's like all these like full baths and double vanities and <laughs> we would just be downstairs, you know? Yeah. Like how many bedrooms is, I don't even know. I think four, like, I think that's kind of too much. But like really nice. This hallway feels kind of tight. It looks skinny in my video. You kind of like. <laughs> Cute. This one's so cute. We love her. Okay, we're on the third. This bedroom is adorable. Cute little bathroom. We're not really feeling. This one is very tight with the neighbors, like zero privacy, but it's really cute. So it's cute to see all the different options. I love how bright this room is. Like all these windows are my dream. Okay, here's a whole overview. This is probably like pretty much it. This one's quite a bit smaller than the ones before. Pretty little kitchen, but cute. Fourth house. Yeah, on FaceTime. Such a nice yard. 
We love, oh, I love a screen and porch, you guys. That's something about me. Brody would love this yard. This is such a good location, you guys. It's been on the market. I'm not kidding. For one or two days, two offers already. But it's such a good spot. We're in house number five. We're really moving and grooving today. Look at this. Cute. Look at this. Kitchen. Such a beachy home. Oh, why do I love this one? <laughs> like, oh, look at the water. All the windows. Wow. Guys, this place is so cool. All our friends and family love. We were saying we feel like they went kind of like nautical. Is that the word? Kind of like, feels like you're on a boat with the metal. And this has three floors. It's kind of neat. Bedroom. I love all the windows. It's like a dream. I think this is the main. The primary. It's like a big bathroom. Oh, this feels like a summer beach home. Like, I just love it. So cute. So two and then three. I feel like we would just have, I just like envision people all over in here. Like someone on a couch upstairs, downstairs. Like, this is just such a fun mm -hmm. home. Oh, another bathroom. <laughs> Why do I like love it? Like not everything is my style, but I just like love everything. Like you know you love a place when I just like take it for what it is, you know? I'm just like, everything's so charming. The fireplace. Wow. We love. I really can't believe how nice it is back there. I know. I know the yard. Brody would love. Look at this place. Are you kidding me? The floors. I'm obsessed. Two walk ins. Look at the primary bedroom. It's just so bright with all these windows. Oh my goodness. Kitchen. Oh my goodness. The entry is so nice. Look at you guys. Dining room. Oh. Why is this one so nice? I know. The builder's upstairs and he and know what he's doing. This house is sick, you guys. Another bedroom. More laundry. Eight loads at a time. <laughs> Wait, that's actually so cool that there's two like yeah. big laundry rooms. Yeah. This is where you'll play video games. Wow, it's actually very big. Yeah. Whoa. I wonder if you could finish this. <laughs> Golf simulator. Yeah. Bowling, bowling alley. alley. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, because all the money is going to. Can we even afford this place? Probably yeah. not. Wow. Brody's yard, Brody's other yard. <laughs> the next day, last thing you saw was house hunting, mm -hmm. been a little MIA. Oh, I can insert a clip right here. Last night, like an hour after we finished up, we went to Chris, mm. one of my favorites. Oh, Had the so yummiest pizza, and your hey. pasta was so good. Brody. Brody, come. <laughs> Brody Brody's trail. Brody's wandering. <laughs> He's making himself at home. Come on. But right now, we are headed to Nirvani. For a little afternoon pick me up. Yeah, it's actually the afternoon. Max mm -hmm. was just like falling asleep napping. Whoa, did you hear the birds? Yeah. Wow. And so we're going to walk on over. I haven't had a Nirvana yet, which is just illegal yeah, since it's my fave. Cross your fingers, they got a donut <laughs> waiting for me. This late in the day. I know, usually this late in the day yeah. they don't, but if it's meant to be, it'll be. Chew <laughs> <laughs> up, boy. Bing. You're getting leashed up because we're going on the main road. He's like, I don't know about that. <laughs> 
You still know how to walk on a leash. You no, never you really are on one. He was pulling my arm off <laughs> yesterday when it walked up. Isn't that so funny? He literally listens better off leash than on yeah. leash at this point, you guys. Oh my goodness. Okay, his collar has Max's phone number on it, so uh, I'm trying not to show, but he's being a good boy. There you go. <laughs> Healing, at least a little bit. <laughs> it's kind of gloomy that, right now. I love this little walk. Yeah, we love this little leash collar combo. Yeah, you guys, we can link this actually if you care. It's like a rubber nylon? No, um, no. not nylon, like silicone yeah kind of material uh, like, like neoprene is that what it's yeah called? like basically like waterproof which is so nice for a doggy like Brody that likes to swim yeah so random but max are not etsy and we love and they do like laser engraving, engraving yeah. yeah with their name and phone number and stuff but it's our little walk remember that little tree and the little hump right there no i don't you don't remember <laughs> <laughs> i remember vivid clear as day tell them what happened someone dropped their coffee and had a meltdown <laughs> <laughs> I think about that every time I see that tree too. I cried because <laughs> I was so excited for my coffee and I dropped it. Oh, mems. <laughs> Brody, look at it. Brody, look. Look at what it says. That's you. You're a woman. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the only one that's not. <laughs> one day. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Guys, uh, here we are. I'm so excited. Really cool. Trying to be donuts. They had them. The cold brew squash up Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. My coffee is delicious. Yeah, he's on his worst behavior on leash. We gotta let him off leash for him to roam. He's more of a roamer. independent roamer. We just yeah. let him do his thing. But my coffee. It's so good. And they had a couple donuts left. It was meant to be. Mm -hmm. So now it seems as though we get our own donuts. Unless you want to do rock, paper, scissors for who gets Both. two. You want, to, you want to gamble? Are you a gambling man? <laughs> That's like double or nothing. Double the money? Yeah, double or nothing. It's really double the money, two for the show. <laughs> Right. All of a sudden I can't give I eat two. I'm sticking with my one. This is where I would always take pictures during COVID in front of that house. I don't even know if it's Michelle followed us. Like okay, abandoned. we gotta go. Okay. <laughs> anyway, got our donuts. Life is good. <laughs> Freedom! Break. Run around. Go crazy. <laughs> Rock your socks off. <laughs> no, knock your socks off. Well, rock them off too, whatever. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be honest. It is like days later now. I kept wanting to film like my concluding thoughts here after house hunting. Sorry, there's like a mess behind me. I'm actually packing up to go somewhere new. It's been a little hectic. Yeah, so it's Friday and we looked on Monday, so it's four days later, but I'm actually happy I took this time so I can give you guys like some updates. Basically, let's just start with, there is one that I feel like we're close to putting an offer in on, which is so exciting. And I want you guys to guess which one you think it is. I'm sure when I start to explain all of our thoughts, maybe it will help you, it'll be like a big hint. Comment down below which one you think you could just put an offer on. And it might not be what you think because I feel like, yeah, this is gonna just give it away, but the ones with like, and I wasn't even that good at filming like certain ones, so maybe the one that we're thinking about, I didn't even film that much in. But I just initially thought that like I've let go of the idea that I wanted something so perfectly moving ready, like exactly my style, maybe only a couple tweaks. And now I'm like, okay, that was just not realistic, I guess, in my budget since Cape Cod is so expensive to be in a really good location, ideally near the water, perfectly redone and nice and new inside, like either newly renovated, new build or whatever. Also, those don't really exist that much near the water since there's already homes there. So the new builds are kind of more where land is left and unless the house was like torn down and rebuilt or completely like gutted whatever so there's just like a number of reasons but I've come to the conclusion that okay let's just say we look at six homes right with the six and I would say I guess I'll just say first one was very like I feel like after that one we we're like oh yeah this is our house like that was so attractive to us that we could pick all the finishes I think I showed how it was just the studs but they told us to be ready June 1st, and I absolutely have zero faith that it would be ready June 1st. We ended up being able to talk to one of the neighbors, and he was like, yeah, honestly. Am I, like, allowed to say all this? He was like, like, this was so helpful to talk to him. He was like, they told me April, we moved in in August. Like, it took a while. So, I don't 
want to get into that where we think we'll be in there for the summer we're waiting around all summer it gets pushed back to july 1st to august 1st we're not in there so, like i just don't think we'd be in there all summer if we're picking out our countertops our floors our hardware everything you know what i mean so that's the only thing about that also i've come to the conclusion that the only thing you really can't change about a house is its location and that was kind of far from where we wanted to be but it seemed so nice that we could make it just how we wanted it was kind of like I feel like a rare gem find that we could get in where like the frames already done everything like that I don't know if I'm saying the words right so please correct me just the studs so we could get in just in time to pick the finishes but we're not completely starting from scratch because if we were like okay we want to buy this land build here that would be like over a year in my head at least that would take like a lot longer so this seemed really nice but then there was one later on in our search that we were like hang on they made us the question everything and we're like wait a minute wait just one second the location of this is such that it makes it better than any of the other homes even though it was actually probably the least like me yeah the least me i would say the least like updated to like how i would like but i just kept saying i i feel like this is gonna give away you guys are gonna know which one i kept saying that I can tell I really love this home because I wouldn't pick the floors, I wouldn't pick the countertops, I wouldn't pick this, I wouldn't pick that, I wouldn't pick the color of this wall, I wouldn't pick that paint, but I love it all the same because I just love this house. It's so bright. It's, I could just see us there and knock on wood, I'm trying not to get my hopes up here. I'm getting very nervous because so many people that I talk to, one of my girlfriends here is like, oh, we put an offer in 10 different homes before we got one and I'm like, Hang on, what? Like if I'm to the point where I'm putting an offer in, like to me that's like my house, like I've decided. And the fact that the market's so crazy right now and there's like bidding wars and people are, you know, offering like 100 over asking to it, like what? That is crazy to me. And actually I was in Orange Theory class yesterday and um, talking to my friend and another girl over there and she was like, oh yeah, the market's so crazy. I just put in like eight offers on here and I'm like, that makes me so scared. But also I'll say, so we're waiting for a number of things, which is like all confusing and boring and I won't get into that but yeah that's like the sitch and we're trying to find out more and more about the house like i just want max's mom like family to go over there i want like their opinions like i just trust their opinions so much and say you know the cape obviously yeah i just want to like really be knowledgeable about like everything about it to make like the best decision maybe i'm being like crazy but also it'd be like the first home ever that i'd buy you know so i just have like eight million questions and it makes me a little scary i don't even want to say this again like knock on wood but they did tell us another couple is like very interesting did, but I don't know if they put an offer already but if they did like their offer would be contingent on selling their current home and so a realtor was like that puts you in like a better position because you guys don't have a current home you're trying to sell oh this is so scary to me this literally makes me think of eBay <laughs> You guys, I know this is probably nothing like this, but I think about how, you know, if you, oh my gosh, this is taking me back to like elementary school back in the day when eBay, like bidding on eBay was such a thing. And like you put in your max bid is like 60 bucks, right? And then it sells for like 65 to someone else. And you're like, no, I wouldn't pay those five extra dollars. That's why I'm so scared it's going to happen for home that we're like, okay, this is like our max. Here we go. And someone else gets it and they pay a little bit more. It's like, wait, but I would have done that though. If I had known, you know what I mean? Maybe like that's not the scenario with the houses. Maybe we'll know and we could like match. I don't know. I don't want to get in a bidding war. I'm so not competitive. Like it's fine. I think I even mentioned during one of the homes, I was like whispering on the back porch. I'm like, yeah, they said they already have a bunch of offers in. And our realtor was like, honestly, this road is like so sought after. Like anything that pops up, it's gone in a day or two. And she was like, I know there are multiple offers in this home, even though it went up like yesterday, it will be sold like tonight. Like they'll accept an offer night. And I'm like, honestly, like I don't even want to look anymore. I just want to go because I don't want to waste anyone's time like I'm not competitive I'm not gonna fight you over this home that I don't even really like it's not like groundbreaking to you know whereas like this other one I'm like this is special so yeah, I was like, I'm out of here. Like I'm just not a competitive type of person. I notice she was saying like in the past with other buyers, like if you get into a bidding war, you may end up with a home and then be like, wait, I paid this much for this. Like you kind of have like buyer's remorse because it was just like this emotionally like heated thing. Anyway, I'm just like chatting like crazy here, but that is the update. Again, I'm like happy I did wait a little bit of time so I could tell you because I feel like we literally went back and forth like two days after. We would be like, no, the first one. And then we would be like, which by the way, people keep asking me like, where are you looking on the cape? We looked everywhere, like from the bridge to, you know what? No, not P-Town. There is a point, we didn't want to really be past like Chatham, Orleans, that kind of seemed far from like where Max is from. We want to be more like central, but we looked everywhere. Like, yeah, really like the bridge. So that's that. And I just feel like, 
one would be so good. So I'm crossing my fingers. But yeah, we kept going back and forth. And we're like, you don't know, this first one really makes more sense. And then we're like, no, this one does. I'm like long term, investment wise, like if we ever want to rent it out, whatever. And I feel like I just need to be smart. And even though it's not like exactly the finishes I would want it to be, like I could pick in the other one, I can do that like over time, you know, cause like it will always be in that location. And if I want to change the floors, if I want to change the countertops, I was gonna say that seems like simple, which like, is it? Like relatively, if I'm like, I just want to change the floors, maybe if we could get it soon, like even before we get in there this summer, we could like change the counters or floors. I don't know. Is that like crazy and a big undertaking? Max is like, I'm like, oh, the floor is so simple. We can just change it. And he's like, is it though? Like, I feel like you'd want to do that even before you move in. So none of your furniture is on them. Like you'd want it to be empty. And I'm like, I didn't even think about that. Anyway, that's that. I'll keep you guys updated. I'm like excited, but I don't want to get my hopes up. Everyone's like, you need to be okay if you don't get it. So I need to go about it very like, it's great. If I don't get it, that's also great. If we get it, you know what I mean? Unbothered, but I'm a little bothered. I'm like a little excited, I'm like, we'll see. <laughs> okay, that's that. Keep you guys updated. Love you so much. Thank you for watching this vlog. Last thing I'll say, PS, is like, trust your gut instinct because last week, so last minute, I was like, Max, I have this crazy idea. Let's go to Cape and look at homes. And I just felt like, I just want to try one more time like with him, see if it feels right, so we can feel, felt like we really tried. And I feel like maybe I have that gut instinct for a reason, like this little supposed to be ours and so i'm like let's get the ball rolling here people so yes keep you guys updated love you so much see you in my next video bye